Hello again from Let's Be Makers. It's Halloween time and I was looking for some simple projects to put together that uh, would be Halloween related, give a little bit of creativity and uh, to that end I picked up a few things including some uh, styrofoam eyes from Michaels. So we've got some little eyeballs that came in a pack of four. I'm going to go ahead and put a hole through each one as you can see like here and uh, then we'll go ahead and hook LEDs to them. So for that, what I've done is uh, I've picked up a skull. So this is my skull from um, Michaels as well. You can see I've already got an eye in there with an LED uh, at the eye. Now you can also see I've hooked up a 220 ohm uh, resistor to the positive leg of the LED. And the reason I've done that is so that we don't overpower it with the... Uh, the electricity from the Adreno and it's simply a protective measure um, we don't want the plastic shooting at the children and so forth so the other thing I picked up was from a prior project I was going to use this for the coffee roaster but this uh, was frowned upon by Ken and rightfully so uh, but this is a toilet bowl cleaner holder it's never been used um, picked it up for a couple dollars had a small dent in it you can see right on the edge, and um, I think it was like five dollars for it. Um, but it's nice; it's nice and sturdy, and so um, sitting that uh, down works well. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and, and mount a shaft uh, through the top of here. You can see there's a hole. Mount a shaft through it, and uh, I'm going to turn the head on a servo. I'm going to use a proximity sensor, uh, motion detector. Um, tell when there's somebody around, also tell how close they are, how far away, and um, go ahead and turn the head and, and turn the LEDs on. Give it a little bit of animation with it. Uh, use a basic servo. So in this case, I've got a servo, I've got a wood dowel, could have easily used a metal, um, and then I've got the adapter that we've purchased for other projects uh, that allows us to connect um, any sort of rod or shaft or propeller directly onto the servo then. And so all we've done is go ahead and screwed that into the top of the servo. Um, the the uh, four-axis propeller that normally comes on it. Uh, there's other ways of hooking them up, but this seems to work real well for me. So what I'll do is I'll mount that inside of uh, a metal bracket, just something like this, inside of um, this, and it'll turn the shaft. Uh, I've also picked up a little uh, baskets, just plastic. And the intention is that I'm going to go ahead and hook some cord to the handle and pull it over a pulley and be able to pull the, the candy up and down. So as the kids come, it'll be up above. As the kids get close, it'll lower the candy down, let them take candy out. And um, I'll probably also go ahead and hook up these nifty little hands to it, uh, just to the edge. And, and they'll just be um, sort of sitting by the, the bowl and just uh, holding the ball as it's bowl as it sits down, something like that. We'll see how that goes. Um, so that's the plan. And uh, so for this project, we're going to be using servos, uh, the LEDs uh, with the resistors, 220 or 330 uh, ohm resistors is what we recommend for uh, the LEDs. Uh, 220 is fine. 330 will be just fine. It'll be a little dimmer, but it's it's not a big deal. It's going to be at night anyway. So hopefully when you're uh, running this. Um, I picked up the in, some Invisicord, um, but you can use any sort of wire uh, that I'm going to use to hoist the candy bucket up and down. Uh, we'll have to see how much candy I can get in it based on the weight and the power of the servo. The more powerful servo you get, obviously the better um, that you could actually uh, lift the basket and so forth. But we'll see how that goes. So let me see what I can do about putting this together. Again, all I did is bought a, a foam skull from Michael's. Um, went ahead and poked the wires through, ran positive and negative uh, to the legs of the LED, and uh, put the resistors in. We're going to use a servo, uh, and we're going to use a standard servo because we're not going to turn the head all the way around, especially because wires are going to be coming down inside to attach the servo and attach the LEDs. So we're just going to use a standard servo, which gives us a 180 degree turn on it, and then uh, we'll use a continuous rotation servo, for lifting the basket and dropping the basket back down because that'll have to go around several times to wind it up. Uh, and again, just a small pulley, again from Lowe's, very small, uh, no big deal. We're just going to run the wire over top of it and uh, it'll fix to the servo and it'll be affixed to the handle of our little candy basket. 
and um, again drop down and uh, just simply hold into the arms this will give a little little bit of um, spookiness to our project nothing really effective to it and uh, of course we got some nice spooky netting uh, that'll go really nicely over top of our little uh, Achmed so we'll see how it goes I'll get back to you in just a little bit and uh, show you where we're at thanks <laughs>